And I actually come from a sculptural background and I think even though I'm working in quite a different medium now, there's something that I retain about working with certain substances. So I'm interested in the colour, um, the texture and, and of course the formal quality of what you actually see within a frame and how those materials somehow suggest issues of vulnerability, of loss, of, of resilience. Generally, um, women have been depicted by, by men, you know, especially if we look at the Western canon, etc. In the absence or in the lack of women doing that themselves, I think it is an issue and I think it is important, therefore, to assert one's ability to, to do this and, in a way, to represent oneself on one's own terms. Two works that have been acquired. The first one is from the Kalami series, which is my earliest body of work, in which I covered myself with various spices. One of the differences for spices is the trade of various commodities in and around the Cape. Another reference relates to my heritage and aspects of where I'm coming from, which for a large, large part of my time growing up, my identity was kind of imposed or it was created for me. So when I, when I call this Colour Me series, it's a, an attempt to take back and to kind of represent myself. I think to counter the kind of uh, imposition of racial categories that I grew up with. The other work was called In Wake Of, more recent, um, and is a direct response to the Marikana massacre, in which 34 miners were shot at close, very close range. I feature in it, I'm the body that lies prostrate. I'm covered by coal, which is a, a mining commodity. And I hold within my hands a collection of Krugerrands, who was made from gold, a reference to Paul Kruger and our particular history in South Africa. For me, it's significant that it is a woman because I think the miners that were killed was obviously a huge loss, but the women and the widows that were left behind live out the experiences of the impact of that event in their lives. Having the work in the Manchester Art Gallery hopefully will afford my work a wider audience and hopefully also extend some of the debates that I'm dealing with in my work.